If you'd like to connect your Elgato Wavelink software to OBS so you can start recording and streaming and doing more advanced broadcasting stuff, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to do the three types of inputs from Wavelink to OBS, bringing your mic only in, bringing your monitor mix in, and or bringing your stream mix in, which will combine all your different sources in your studio into one mix. I've already gone past the steps here, guys, where you add inputs into Wavelink and have gone past the step where you do your best settings. Watch those tutorials before you do this. Otherwise, things will be jacked up. Those are on the channel. Watch those first. Got it? So the first way to bring in an input from Wavelink software into OBS is to just add your mic straight up. Now, when you do this, please note, it's going to pull the Elgato Wave 3 mic and all the settings that you have here. So your audio enhancements, your, like your low cut filter, your clip guard, your gain lock, all that stuff. It'll pull all those settings over, essentially all of that audio over with those settings when you bring it over this way. Just keep that in mind. Those settings will be locked in. So what you're going to do in OBS is you're going to go down here to sources. You're going to click the plus button. You're going to do audio input capture and then just call it mic and hit OK. And then once you do that, you're going to see a menu pop up right over here. Let me bring it over to this side to make it easier for you to see. We're going to select our device and we're going to do mic in as our device to Elgato Wave 3. Got it? Then once you do that, you hit OK and boom, there it is. The mic is popping up right here and the input is brought in to the audio mixer directly. No other mix is in place here. You don't have Spotify. You don't have game audio. You don't have any of the other things that you may have going on here in your Wavelink software. Other inputs are not a part of that element of the audio mixer. That's how you bring that in directly. Got it? Cool. All right. The next type of input that you can bring in to connect Wavelink to OBS is your monitor mix. So in Wavelink software, um, you've got all of these channels with the little headphones here. You can kill the monitor mix by clicking it with a little X through. You can adjust the monitor mix up and down with your volume, and you can choose how the monitor mix is routed here at the bottom of the software in Wavelink, what the volume is for it, and with the ear button right back here, whether you're listening to it or not. That monitor mix, you can actually bring that monitor mix in to OBS directly. So you have the opportunity to have two different types of mixes in OBS, a monitor mix and a stream mix that you bring into OBS, giving you an insane amount of control over the mix. So what we're gonna do, same thing as last time, right? Hit the plus button here under sources, audio input capture. We're gonna call this monitor mix and we're gonna hit okay. And then once this menu pops up, we're gonna select device and Wavelink Monitor is what we're selecting, and hit OK. And then once we do that, boom, there it is. There's our monitor mix. It's right here. Only the items that are a part of the monitor mix and the way that they are mixed in the Wavelink software over here, that's how it's gonna come into OBS. So as you, for example, notice how my volume levels are a little bit low here on the monitor mix, or uh, they're in the middle. If I brought this down, as you can see, my mic goes down, it brings the volume levels way down right here. And then if I bring this back up, it brings the web volume levels back up. So all the mixing that you're doing here in Wavelink in your monitor mix will directly impact the way the monitor mix shows up right here in OBS. Got it? Cool. Those are two types of mixes that you can bring in to OBS. But wait, there's more. There's the stream mix, which is the most popular one. And so to add the stream mix, just to be clear, what that is, is this channel here. So this little playback icon, you can turn it on or off. You can adjust the volume on each individual source up and down with that playback mix, that stream mix. And you can see the stream mix down here at the bottom, the volume levels on it. You can adjust the master volume on the stream mix. And with a little ear button, you can choose whether you hear that mix or not in your own headphones. You can bring in that, what I like to call master mix, into OBS as well as your third way of bringing in all this audio plus button down here under sources audio input capture we're going to call this stream mix so obviously you want to do this if you want to do a whole mix and wavelength of all the stuff happening on your computer then 
you could bring that in master mix in with one input, one set of clicks here. You can bring that in. Your device is going to be your Wavelink stream is your stream mix. Then you're going to hit OK, and then it's going to bring in that stream mix. And as you can see, the stream mix that you see down here is a mix of everything that you had as a part of that stream mix in the Wavelink software. So anything that you've changed stream mix wise in the Wavelink software. So for example, if I drop the volume level down to like 25% right here, notice how it dropped the levels down here in Wavelink, just illustrating the concept. It brought the volume levels down right here in the stream mix in OBS. So everything you do in Wavelink in terms of the stream mix impacts that input that you brought into OBS. Got it? Good. That's how you add the three types of inputs from Wavelink software into OBS, mic input, monitor mix, and stream mix. Enjoy the power of this digital mixing with the Elgato Wave 3, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.